Oof. So, uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen to this really exciting video. I'm sure you know already what it's all about. I bought myself a new camera. So I decided to upgrade from the A6300 because A6200 is it's actually a really nice camera. It has a sharp 4K, nice pictures, 24 megapixels is just all you need. Uh, everything is okay with the Sony A6300, but uh, I thought that um, I wanted to step up a little bit. And I thought that uh, A7 III is a really nice way of stepping up. So this camera, in, a, in comparison to the A6300, has IBIS internal. I don't have IBIS in A6300. So it's obviously it's full frame. Uh, this camera has a uh, longer battery life, supposedly we'll see. And uh, this camera, it has several uh, more new features that I've never used before on the 6300. And I'm really excited to like unbox, get this thing out of the box and uh, go and shoot something already. So, uh, just a couple of words uh, before I start unboxing. I already have a couple of really nice lenses for the crop sensor, and uh, namely uh, 16 to 35 f4 and 70 to 200 also f4. And one of the things that I thought before buying this new body was that uh, these lenses are not 2.8 versions, so they are slightly cheaper. And I thought that uh, in, uh, when coupled with the internal IBIS of this camera, they will receive maybe one or maybe two uh, stops of light, and uh, which will sometimes be a lifesaver for me. And this camera also doesn't have an AA filter, which means that the photos will be a tad bit sharper. Uh, so we'll see. So let's just dive into the box. I want to just, you know, start tearing it apart. And so without further ado, let's just begin a quick unboxing it. So here we are, Sony a7 III. Look at that manual, the thickness of this manual. It's crazy. A strap, really good strap, because uh, the one that came with the a6300 uh, was really tiny, was way smaller. Charging cable, another charging cable for another type of plug. Oh, look at that baby. Uh, so there we have our A7 III. That's the battery. And that's uh, AC adapter, I believe. And that's the cable that plugs uh, in your camera and then into USB. Three days later. <laughs> so, uh... It's been a couple of days since my unboxing video, short unboxing video, which you just seen. And uh, right now I'm here in this beautiful snowy forest. Uh, it's kind of cold, so my jaw is like refusing to talk. Uh, I'm here testing the A7 III, new, seven, new A7 III. Uh, and at the end of this video you will see all of the, uh, all of the pictures that I've taken today. Uh, and uh, they will be available for you to download, so you can just uh, see for yourself uh, the quality of the A7 III photos. I won't be shooting any video today because I haven't figured out all of the video settings because there, because there are just a ton of new settings compared to the A7 or uh, to the A6300. Uh, so before uh, I, I, mm, I'll give you a look at the photos. I uh, just wanted to mention that this is my first uh, full-frame camera. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna say that I wasn't really expecting that much of uh, this new body. So the same amount of pixels, the same amount of almost everything. Yes, a couple new features compared to the A6300. Uh, A6, uh, uh, and I thought just uh, eh, a new body. Uh, but actually when I bought it and uh, during these two days that I've been playing with it, I thought that this is really an amazing body. And uh, let me tell you why. Because uh, as I've already mentioned, this is my first full-frame camera. So uh, I have uh, already uh, 
70 to 200 and uh, 16 to 35 uh, Sony native mount lens, E-mount lens. Uh, thank God uh, these lenses were made for full frame cameras because when I bought them I didn't really pay attention uh, whether or not uh, these lenses were for full frame or just for crop sensor cameras. So a little tip for you beginners out there, uh, before you buy a lens uh, make sure that it uh, suits your sensor size uh, so it's better of course to uh, buy full frame uh, it will give you a like one point uh, something multiplication crop factor but just uh, in any case uh, keep that in mind uh, so and uh, all those uh, lenses 70 to 200 and 16 to 35 uh, I got used to like the focal length uh, everything on the crop sensor camera and uh, I thought that mm, okay I, gave, uh, I have a pretty nice reach out of my 70 to 200 and a pretty wide uh, image on the 16 to 35. But actually having a full frame gets rid of this crop factor. And I get a truly, uh, truly wide photos with the 16 to 35. And I will show you these photos at the end, as I mentioned. And uh, I will lose uh, like 100 millimeters of reach out of my 70 to 200 because it is not... Uh, 105 to 300 like it was on a crop sensor camera it is just a regular 70 to 200 so I lose some reach but it's not a big that, that big of a deal uh, and uh, my impression of this camera is yet like re it's really great camera for maybe it's positioned I believe as a beginner full frame well for me it's not a beginner full frame it's just a pro camera because it has so many cool features and uh, by the way, uh, you remember my face when I did the unboxing, like before the unboxing, my face was like, my face was like eh, not a huge deal, but now I'm really pumped about this camera. So uh, for everybody out there who's looking for a new camera, for like uh, who's looking to buy their first full frame camera, this is a really big deal. So if you have like a spare $2,000, like spend them just without thinking. This camera is amazing, but uh, there is, maybe a couple of not downsides not even flaws but just some things that I don't really like uh, they are not like uh, deal breakers or anything uh, I'm really uh, concerned about these flaps uh, that conceal all of the ports connectivity stuff and uh, all that stuff uh, they are kind of flimsy because on the a7 uh, a6300 it's like a really hard plastic uh, door so to say but these are like they are bendy, they're flimsy. I'm afraid that uh, something may happen to them. I will still uh, treat this camera really gingerly and uh, I, I hope nothing, uh, nothing happens to it. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, this has been a really nice camera so far. I hope it will still continue to impress me. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you're about to see all of the pictures that I've taken with this camera, that I'm about to take with this camera. And uh, the link to all of these raw photos will be available down in the description below.